The voters in Baltimore City um, are in a, a rather frustrated mood and a rather demanding mood with regard to the next mayor. Um, we asked them in the poll, in a word or in a short phrase, please tell us what you're looking for in the next mayor. And the leading response was crime, deal with the crime problem. Honesty and ethics was also very high in number two and tied, essentially tied with create jobs, provide some economic opportunity, and also do something about our schools and provide opportunities for young people. So those four ideas, crime, honesty and ethics, uh, youth in schools, and jobs were the leading ideas. But what was interesting to us was that many voters, when asked to list one thing, listed all four of those things, or they listed three or, three or four of those things, and they basically were saying, we've got some serious problems that need to be fixed, the mayor needs to fix them. We need somebody who's a doer um, and somebody who's got some ideas. And so um, voters are in that sort of a mood. I think that helps to explain in part why Catherine Pugh may have emerged as the prime competitor to Dixon. So I think we all know from Dixon's time as mayor that she is somebody who voters perceive as a problem solver. She's not afraid to get out there into the neighborhoods and talk with people. And many voters appreciate her for that. In fact, her support is very strong in the African-American community in the city. Um, but we also know that she's dogged by ethical concerns. And those are in the past, but many voters have not forgiven her for that, particularly white voters. And so um, that's why there is room, plenty of room, for someone else to emerge. And what's interesting about Catherine Pugh, as seen by the voters, is that she seems to combine this need to be a problem solver and also somebody who voters see as visionary or um, having new ideas and being able to come up with some solutions that might be right for these times. And so that's an interesting combination and makes her very viable in the race.